I'm going to compare three different lenses to see how they perform. One of the dilemmas using the Insta360 is how to protect the lens whilst filming. I want to compare three different kinds of lenses and see how they perform. Let's look at the Insta360 Sticky Lens Guard first. It's a very popular option and it does actually protect the lens, of course. However, there are elements of downgrading in the footage, uh, lens flare, and the one that really, really gets me is the fogging. It fogs so badly and then once it's fogged, it takes forever to get rid of that fogging. Wow, that's not cool. And it's not like you can put an anti-fog slip uh, paper in there to prevent that from happening. There's just zero solution. If you are in any environment where the lens will fog up, it fogs up really fast and then it does not go away. For me, the sticky lens guard has been totally a frustrating experience. Also, I found that it scratches very, very quickly, even when being careful. So I've already gone through a couple of lens sets. Given that frustration, I decided to go ahead and buy a removable protective lens guard in the hope that it would perform well. The advantage of this lens guard is that it can be easily removed if you want to use, for example, the dive case, underwater case, that kind of thing. However, I did notice that it had a really distinct demarcation line where the stitch line was, more like a dive case stitch line. And so I had to cut more of the footage when I was actually making the stitch. I had to go for the dive cave stitch and it just made it look less smooth in the final edit. So um, although I'm happy to have this in case I decide to use the underwater case for some reason, which I probably will, um, I'm not really satisfied with it. Now, apparently there is now a premium version of this that I haven't yet tried. I don't know if that issue is going to happen with the premium version of this lens guard. I've yet to try it out and I will probably buy that one day to see. The disadvantages of this lens guard as well is that you can't use it with other accessories like the shoe mount. So next up is the X3 optical glass protector. The frustrating element of this is that it can't be used with a shoe guard. Or can it? I might have spoken too soon. Let me just add these on and get back to you. I told that glass will not fog up. Well, let's check to see if this lens fogs up. And if it does, how quickly it fogs up and then how quickly the fogging dissipates. There we have it. It still fogs. It still fogs. If anyone has any solutions, let me know. I guess the next step will be to buy the premium removable lens and that way at least I can take breaks to clean out the inside of the lens and put it back on. Overall though, I would say that I'm still happy that I bought the glass lens. I dropped it within the first day of putting it on and there's not a scratch on it. Uh, whereas any tiny little bump or anything on the sticky lens it would mark really instantly and that would be it. It just seemed to damage really fast. Insta, why didn't you not provide us with the option to just remove the original lenses? If we'd had the option to remove them without basically having the whole camera messed up because of this, um, it would have solved so many issues. I mean, the fact that the original lenses without any kind of protection gives the best quality footage but most of us are concerned about scratching and damaging those lenses so yeah um there we go what's your thoughts